In this video, I'm going to show you how I installed the RCI Universal Bed Rack. This is the 12-inch HD rack. I'm going to show you all the pieces that came with the, with, the, with the rack and the packaging and also, of course, the installation and a couple of problems that I ran into during the installation and then, of course, the end result and how it looks on the trucks, which I'm which super happy with the end result, which I'm going to show you, of course, at the end of this video. So these are the parts that came with the bed rack and it didn't come with any sort of uh, installation guide in the packaging you have to go to the website and look at one single one page pdf for the installation and that wasn't the the best installation i've ever seen but it was pretty straightforward when you figured out the first couple of steps then we're just repeating those steps to assemble this rack now I paid about a uh, hundred bucks extra to get the drill free installation. That means that I got some C-clamps that you saw there in a separate package. And those are the C-clamps that I'm going to install after I assemble the whole rack. And that's going to kind of tie the, the rack to the bed without having to drill holes. And I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to adjust or modify the truck in a way that I can't, that can't be reversed. And that's why I decided to go with the C-clamp uh, solution for the attachment to the actual bed frame. This is coming together nicely. Just got these on the side rails and I really like that it says RCR. I just like the design of this rack. It looks really cool. Now I have one question here that I don't really understand. So we're gonna put this bar right in the middle on here right now and that's one of these but I have two of them so I don't know why why I have two. One is gonna go in the middle and looking at the picture they only have one of these on there so I guess it's an extra or something because there's only one spot for it up here. Maybe I can have two, an option to have two up here. Maybe that's why I have two. If I carry some extra load or something like that. That looks pretty good so far. Just to clarify, the installation guy that I was looking at, it only had this one single bar going across this the center of the bed rack. And I, that's what I thought that I was going to install uh, myself and that's what I thought the end result was going to look like. But what I'm doing right here is just hand tightening all the bolts before I tie everything down because I want everything to fit properly. And then at the end of this uh, install here, I'm actually going to take the center piece off because I found this image right here which shows you can have two bars at the top and that all of a sudden everything made sense to me and also the amount of nuts and bolts started to uh, make sense as well because every single nut, nut and bolt now had their specific location on this uh, installation. Since I just tied all of the nuts and bolts by hand, what I'm doing right here is just going through all of them again and tighten everything down with a uh, 14 millimeter socket. And now we come to the C-clamp installation, which kind of felt a little weird to install this. They didn't feel very sturdy until they get really, really tight. But we have six of them, so I'm not <laughs> worried that the bed frame or the bed rag is going to, uh, to fly off at any point. So this is the end result of what the uh, bed rack looks like. I love the pro low profile of this. This is a 12 inch HD. I'm gonna link it down in the description if you wanna go and grab this yourself. And of course, I'm gonna have a tent on top of this. So if you look at this from a side view, you can see that the tent is not gonna stick up a lot higher than the roof line and that's gonna help of course uh, MPG and fuel economy spe specifically on the highway when you're going 70 75 with a tent on top I want to create this drag by having the tent stick up too far and as you can see it's gonna fit perfectly on top here as well and tomorrow I'm getting the wheels and tires finally 35 inch tires with the 20 inch wheels come in tomorrow and those going on pretty soon as well I'm gonna make a video on that as well so make sure you subscribe to the channel this overland build is coming along nicely here and i can't wait to get the wheels and tires on there tomorrow if you have any questions about this rack just comment below in the description i'll try to help you out if i know the answer to your question thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video
Thank you.